All right, good afternoon, sixth graders. Um, as you can see, I'm in my office here in Harrisburg, not at school. I'm sure you guys are at home as well under quarantine. Um, this is a little bit unusual and I'm a little bit nervous, but also excited to be able to teach you guys remotely. So um, hopefully what I heard from the substitute teacher is that you guys finished the Han Dynasty. Um, you were able to do those stations together. You had four days for them, and it's my understanding that you finished them. Awesome. So at this point, I want to remind you guys, even though I can't look at your work right now, you are still responsible for those pages in your interactive notebook. All right. So for the stations, again, that was with my substitute teacher last week, you worked on pages 167. Okay. So the Han Dynasty, all the way up to 172 all right so for those pages you will be held responsible um the minute we return back to school okay so i'm assuming you already did those but in case you haven't or you didn't take notes or whatever maybe use today and tomorrow um to catch up to finish those notes then also, the substitute teacher told me that you guys had a chance to go to the computer lab and you started the web quest. Awesome. Um, so I think with this article and with the research you have to be doing, I'm assuming you will need those three days this week to um, finish the web quest. So this week, I need you guys to focus on the web quest um, and I'll give you those three days to finish that. Just in order to wrap our wrap up last week, I want to show you again um, the slideshow. So you should have read already um, the introduction to the Silk Road and you should have done the preview activity on page 173 in your interactive notebook. After that, you should have looked at the vocabulary. We have four vocab words. We have Silk Road, Trade Route, Caravan, and Cultural Diffusion. For each of those four vocab words, Please create a drawing on a separate piece of uh, paper and explain each vocab word. Just as a reminder, all the vocabulary is defined in your textbook, so feel free to flip through to look for that. All right, so again, you're reading the introduction, and after reading the introduction in your student text, the introduction is on page 255. Um, you're answering the essential question, how did trade along the Silk Road lead to an exchange of goods and ideas? Please write your answer on the same page as your vocabulary. All right, after that, go ahead and read the first section. The first section is called the opening of the Silk Road. And then with that, you have some questions to answer in your interactive notebook on page 174. All right, after we've done all of this, we are ready for our web quest. It is my understanding that a few of you guys already started last week in the computer lab. Here's the website. When you click on the link below, you will see this screen right here. All right, so please follow the instructions Go in order, so start with home, intro, task, process, evaluation. So the whole idea of this web quest is that you learn more about the Silk Road. So first you will learn about the Silk Road, and then you will pretend to be a journalist that is creating an article for the National Geographic and where you share your knowledge with other people. All right, so once you clicked on the introduction you will learn about basic things about the Silk Road then when you go to the task here it's telling you what you're trying to do again you're going to be a journalist for the National Geographic and you will create an article on the Silk Road here are the requirements for your article so make sure you read through carefully On the process page is where you do the most um, research. Here are different articles that help inform you. So you're expected to read those articles or videos and to take notes. 
then using those notes you will write your article okay so use these resources again here it's telling you what you need to do to be successful okay and then once you got that this is the rubric on how you will be graded and again you will have Wednesday Thursday and Friday to complete this assignment all right